it's a, it's about addressing issues with people who have criminal issues. That's right. That's a part of what we're talking about. But yes, we know Jamar had a job and Jamar had a purpose. And what we want to do is use the, the the situation that happened to try to advocate for these young men so that they are not shunned by society and treated some kind of way. So that's all they I'm asking. They should be able to have housing. They should. And jobs. Absolutely. But, they, but the system set it up that since they have felonies and misdemeanors, they can't get it. So do y'all hear this system? So what she's talking about are public policy issues. So a lot of these elected officials come knock on our doors. Many of us will go to DFL events, shake their hand, be excited that we saw them somewhere. Then we don't place a demand on them for the things that we need to see happen in our community, like the jobs, like the housing, like being able to give a second and third chance for people with felony records. Those are things we need to advocate for now. Betsy Hodges needs to hear us now. The city council needs to hear us now. The legislators need to hear us now. Imagine if this group started calling the people that you know who are elected officials, calling them out on Facebook. You can be Minnesota nice about it if you don't want to get in their face like I do. That's all right. The point is, begin to advocate for those who need us most, who need our voices. Let some something? good come out of this process. Can I say something? Sure. Can I say something? Go ahead. I wish motherfuckers would stop talking. I wish people would stop complaining about going, oh, can we get this, can we get that, the house and everything. Me, myself, personally, I have multiple sclerosis. I have a doctor's statement. I have people that says, I can't work. You know what? The rest of y'all that can work, get your ass up and go get a job. Man, come on. All right. Man. So, use your voices. Advocate for the people who need us the most, okay? Yes. You want to elaborate on that, my brother? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, uh, my name is Pablo Tapia, and uh, see that big sign over there? We've been here supporting our brothers here. Uh, you know, we're not strangers to this struggle. Uh, we ourselves, as Latinos, uh, especially Mexicans, we've been kicked around in this country for too long. That's right. Uh, and, and, and there was a time also that, that they say you cannot put a complaint on a white person because you're not European enough. You are mixed with the indigenous. So your word has no validation with us. So we, we, we know the struggles. To the day, most of, most of our people are incarcerated. Either because immigration, uh, uh, the immigration issues or because of lack of opportunities. So let me ask you a question, brother. What do you yeah. think about Donald Trump? What do you Donald think? Wait, Trump? let's stay focused. <laughs> let's stay focused I mean, on the I'm message. <laughs> Y'all can have a I'm side combo because Donald Trump straight, ain't man. worth our time right now. <laughs> let his brother finish what he's saying. No, but you talk about let about him about finish. Let him finish what he's saying. Because he Donald Trump ain't worth our time right now. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's, no, he's talking about immigration. That's all I'm saying. So, so, I know what you're saying. So, yeah. so, 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 we, so yep. we know the struggle. We know the struggle. We're not strangers. And, and, and you know who, who's the who's the people that are in jail? Blacks and Latinos. Yeah, yeah. Latinos. blacks and browns. We yes. are the ones that the the more most targeted by the cops. That's right, man. The other day at work, I got pissed off at a, a co-worker because he 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 was saying that we were just creating problems around here. I said, Have you ever been there? He said no. Well, till you there, then you you can tell me you what you think about it because you don't know. Because you haven't been stopped by the police five That's times right. a day. That's right. You have every time you call the cops, they they put us in the back of the car instead of uh, going and investigate the crime that we reported. They come and investigate us. That's right. And that's not right. So so Nikima is right. Every time we have a chance with these politicians that they come around and want to buy buy the the vote of our community. It's going to be expensive this time. That's right. And we're not going to sell it cheap. And just because they come and eat tacos with us, they That's think right. they're going to have our vote? No. Oh, That's just because right. they want to come right. and uh, they have to talk with us, they're going to have our vote? No. No. That's right. Yeah. So, so this time is this yes. time, this year has got to be different. Yeah, we got to vote, right? Yeah, and we, we need to, yeah. Let's, let's not, because I, I, I don't know, but I, I have my suspicions that these people are doing all this chaos all over the country because they want to 
they want to get politicians more mad on them. So, so, we, so, so we don't have nothing to do with politics. So we have nothing to do with both. And I think that we shouldn't, sorry, that's my phone. <laughs> So I think we should, we need to keep focus. That's you right. You know, keep the eyes on the prize. Yeah. And and once I, I talked to uh, uh, Reverend uh, uh, Fred Charlesworth, and I had the opportunity to talk to him for a long time, and and I was privileged. And I asked him, what should we do to win this campaign of civil rights for immigrants? Mm -hmm. he, and he said, you know what, my brother, you need to keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to do here. Yeah, that's right. Don't give up. Yeah, and, right. And, right, brother. Yeah, and Great keep job. going and keep the eyes on the prize. Great job, brother. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah, that's great job, brother.